Well, that went from zero to 100 real fast. She was just out here walking around eating and I just came to check on the baby goats and I saw her down pushing. So she skipped right ahead to the active labor. Look at that. She's doing good. Ha! Ah, dude, Ryan, I was just like coming to check on the baby goats and she was laying here pushing. There's already a bubble out. Good job, Rosemary. Well, this is our first kidding out in the paddock without it being an accidental kidding in the paddock. Cool beans. Cool beans. Wait, what am I saying? All right, shh, Rose, let the labor progress. Awesome songs. I know, baby. I know, you're okay. This is a nice soft bed. She wanted to be out here. Nice shady spot. Yeah, you're gonna do just fine. And she's still eating. It's funny, some people say that goats stop eating during labor. I have not had that experience with, I don't think any of our goats. <laughs> if anything, they eat more. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, you're doing good. Here it comes. Oh, try to walk slower so she doesn't have to stand up. Autumn's gonna. She's looking at Autumn. So, Autumn's gonna stay with Daddy's legs. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine, sweet girl. Autumn's gonna stay with Daddy's legs. Do you want me to pet you, or do you want me to stay here? I'll just stay here, and if you want me, I'll come to you. All right. She's definitely not as affectionate as my other goats in labor, huh? She's like, hands off. I'm doing this. You don't think there's a chance that she's still lying like last time, right? She could be lying still. She could be lying. But I don't know what I would explain that bubble coming out then. <laughs> Do you want me to come to you? I think she doesn't want me coming because of Autumn. Autumn follows me. The crow sounds like it's saying, Ma! <laughs> I thought it was the kids calling me. <laughs> I like to see a kid come out after the water break. What time is it? 4.07. Okay. I know, you're having a baby. That's what's happening. She seems confused. This is her first freshening. So, she's never experienced all this before. I know. Do you want me? Do you want me? No? You got one. Come on, Rosemary. It's gonna be like a nursery out here with all the new babies. Are you getting in my nap? <laughs> Your mama's love.
Staying out or going back in there? I can't tell now because the grass. It's still there. I'm enjoying more. Rosemary going into labor in the field mm -hmm. or Autumn laying in my lap. I'm glad we moved you to a nice fresh piece of grass. It's much nicer to lay on. Ready, girl? 
So mama can hear you. Shoulder back. 
another beautiful, beautiful, identical baby. Hi, yo. Hello, welcome to the world. Come back home. Or him, or her, whichever. Another girl. Well, I'll be. What a lucky break. Lots of pretty girls coming into the world. Yes, these are your babies. And even though it's warm out here, they're wet and they're new. You need to clean them. You need to clean them. Okay? Oh, good girl. Good girl, yeah. Lick them up. I wouldn't be surprised if she has a third in there, so... She's so big. Alright, little babies. We're going to try to get mommy to pay attention to you. How are we going to tell these apart? Oh my gosh, this one's got a little bit bigger of a white spot. They're identical, and what's funny is neither one of them look like their mom or dad. So dad must have some... Because these look just like April. Flapping under must have some uh, genetics that look just like this. Hi, baby. I'll have to look at pictures of her mom, his mom. She she was just in a in, the, in a goat show yesterday, showing. So I don't know if she placed or not. Yes, girl. You're gonna have to clean the babies, honey. Yeah. There you go. Clean them up. Will you clean them? Will you clean them if I put molasses on them? That's what my friend. That's what my friend Bree did when Mama wasn't cleaning, and it worked really well. I don't know where she learned that trick, but it's a good trick. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. You're doing great. Can you clean these babies? Clean them up. you to be a good mom if you're not gonna just instinctively be one. That means I'll hold you on the milk stand and make you nervous. Yeah. So you might as well do it on your own. It's 
much as I love taking care of bottle babies, it's a lot easier if you can just do it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are your babies. She's not eating any of the liquids, cleaning them off at all. No interest in it. No, you don't have any interest in it at all. But they're your babies. At least she's not wandering off and leaving them alone. You're staying by them. You're just too hungry to eat, to take care of them, huh? <laughs> you were eating while you were pushing out a baby. You know that, right? Mom of the Mom of the Year award goes to Rosemary for tough as nails. So <laughs> you think? You think she's got another baby? Think I should get some molasses and put them on these ones? Um, I can go get the molasses. Well, I gotta rinse my hands anyway, so... <laughs> Alright. We'll be, we'll be right back. After this. Precious babies. Mommy doesn't know what to think. <laughs> She's a little confused. She's not leaving their side, but she's not cleaning them either. So Ryan's gone to go get some molasses to put on them so, to encourage her to clean them. And she's not leaving them, so that's good. So there's some interest. And she is a first freshener, so sometimes you gotta guide them a little bit, give them a little bit of lessons on being a good mom. I wonder if Daisy's kids crying is confusing her. I'm gonna go get Daisy to pay attention to her babies. Oh yes, answer the call. Good, good mama. They're so cute. Twin does. Out of the way, baby girl. I know, Rosemary, I know. You don't wanna do anything for these babies. There you go. Lick that molasses, yay. Good mama, yes. Those babies smell so good, don't they? Don't they smell so yummy? Yeah. It's quite common for a first freshener to just kind of be a little confused and not interested in the babies. But the babies are not completely unnoticed by her, so that's good. And she's but not being mean to them. She's not headbutting them away. So, oh, I'm sorry. You were born second. You're not as steady on your feet yet. That one is really doing a good job of making attempts to nurse. So that's good. Yeah, because you were born four, born because you were born first, and you're strong. Yeah, you're strong. <laughs> Good, strong, healthy babies, Rosemary. Yes, there you go. That's good. You responding to your baby's call. You're a good mama. You're just figuring it out still. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, I get to pretend like I'm the mama. Huh? Yes, all my babies, all oh, my babies. Baby love, baby love. You smell like molasses. They smell like molasses. <laughs> They're your babies. Aren't they beautiful? on your leg, sister. Knock you down. The elbows, again. They've tried to nurse on every elbow they could reach. I'll get you another drink next time she stands up. I'll make her, I'll make her nurse you, okay? I don't want to stress her out too much by forcing her to be held while they're nursing, but in the same breath, you kind of have to if there's no nursing happening. So, 
it's always a good idea to have somebody there with you to hold them or put them in a milk stand or tie them to a fence. Whatever you can do to get those babies on there and get them nursing. Even if you have to hold the legs because they're kicking. It's better off in the long run because it usually creates the bond that you're looking for.